In this video, I'm going to show you how to duplicate a list of records and also duplicate one record at a time. So in my example here, I have a list of four projects. They each have a name and they each have a different description. And we can see here in my preview page, I have them listed out here in a repeating group, just a couple text elements to display the project name and description. Now, if I wanted to create complete clones of each of these items, there's one action in Bubble that lets you do this very, very quickly. And the benefit of this type of action is if you want to create backups of your records or to have um, a template feature where uh, copying an item lets you create a sort of save as feature where you can modify a record without having to uh, work with the original. The original can stay intact and unchanged. What I'm going to do is add a button to the outside of the repeating group here. And this doesn't have to be just with a repeating group. This is basically going to be for any list of items. And I'm going to label this copy projects, or we'll say copy project list. Okay, so I'll start edit workflow for that one. And the action that we're looking at here is copy a list of things. Okay, and notice that there isn't a copy a single thing, and I'm going to get to that in just a second. We're going to use copy a list of things here. The type of things that I'm copying is project, and the list I want to copy is my repeating groups list of projects. But I could also do a search for all of my projects. This would return all of my projects in my database. The search would also allow me to add constraints if I want to do uh, a different list. But since I've got the element on the page, we're going to go ahead and use repeating groups list of projects. Definitely keep this note in mind here. Bubble's only going to let you copy 99 items in a list. You can, of course, trigger this action uh, more than once to get a copy of, of more more than 99 items, but in one single action you cannot have um, 100 or more items in that list. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and trigger this uh, workflow. Okay, so I'm going to click the button and you can see instantly I have a duplicate of each of my items in this list. I have two project A's, two B's, C's, and D's, and you can see in the uh, app data section here we have all sorted by name there. So we have two of each thing, and you can actually see the creation date. Um, they are completely separate records. They're not mistake duplicates. They are intentional. Now I'm going to remove these last four um, items that I just created so that I can show you how to copy a single item with this same list action. So let me get rid of those so that it's a little bit cleaner and we can see it easily. Okay, so I'm back to my original four there. All right, so what I can do to, if I wanted to copy only one item out of all of these, uh, I can have a button inside the cell, copy this project, okay? And the workflow is still going to use the exact same action, copy a list of things. It'll still be type project. Now the list, however, is going to be the current cells project converted to list. Okay, This modifier here takes a single value and makes it compatible with a field that's looking for a list value. So if I had just left it alone to current cells project, Bubble would have triggered an issue here saying, hey, we're looking for a list and you're giving us one single item. But if we use this converted to list function, then we're converting that value into a list value and Bubble likes that a lot better. And you end up only copying one item. Okay, so I'm going to preview this. So now we have this button available for each one of our projects. I'm going to copy project B, and you can see that instantly created another project there for project B and only project B. If I go into my database, we can see that uh, a little bit more clearly here too in the app data section. Now, final piece to this is let's say that you wanted to modify your copy um, as soon as the copy is made so that you can actually tell them apart because here we're copying everything. All of the values will carry over. We have the name and description, they're the exact same. Of course, the creation date um, is going to be different, but let's help your user along and allow them to name their copy uh, as soon as it's been created. So I'm going to add an input field here, uh, copied 
name for copied project. Okay, and I will add an action to the single, we're, we're just working with the single uh, workflow here. And I'm going to make a change to the current, uh, sorry, the result of step one, which is our copy. Okay, and again, because this action is working with a list value, even though technically we're only supplying it with one item, it's still going to um, view it as a list and output um, a list. So when I say I want to make a change to a thing, I have to say make a change to the result of step one and take the first item of that result. It's always just going to be one because you've only supplied one thing in this list. Okay, so by using first item, we're converting this value back to a single uh, value that Bubble will like better. And the only change I'm going to make is the name. And that name is going to be set to that new input that I added so that the copy will instantly have a different name. But everything else will remain the same. The description, if you had other fields um, with dates, numbers, whatever it is, when you, when you run this action, every single value will be completely duplicated. Okay, so I'm going to preview this again. All right, so I'm going to copy this project A, and I'm just going to call it project A duplicate, like that. Copy this project, and here is our duplicate with our new name. Okay, of course you can run a reset input action so that it clears this out once you've created the copy. Um, and if we go into our database, refresh our data here, we can see our original project A, our duplicate project A with the new name, these duplicate project Bs, and our original C and D. That's pretty much it. If you have any questions, leave a comment below. Please give the video a thumbs up if you liked it. And of course, subscribe to the channel. I upload videos every single week. Thanks so much for watching.